good afternoon i am streamer assistant professor marine here we are going to see ship fire prevention and control fire hazards and on board ship chemistry of fire fire is an oxidation process it's an exothermic oxidation it's a chemical process in which substances combine with oxygen giving off heat it's an oxidation process condition of fire the presence of material such as gas or liquid which acts as a fuel the source of ignition example chemical physical or biological the presence of oxygen and as air or from oxidation agent for a substance to oxidation its molecules have to be surrounded by oxygen all matter exists in one of the three states that is solid liquid and gases in solids molecules and atoms bond tightly to each other liquids molecules and atoms bond loosely together but in gases molecules and atoms are not bonded at all it is easier only for vapor to oxidize fire triangle in fire triangle there is a three element which combine to catch the fire if any one of the element is eliminated the fire must be cut off here we see the fire triangle oxygen heat and fuel are needed to start a fire if any one is cut off then the fire can be put off for the fire to sustain continuously availability of fuel is required the availability of the fuel is continuously makes it as a chain reaction here the another condition there is a fire tetrahedron to move into a slightly more advanced theory of fire there is a fourth ingredient necessary for the fire and the fire tetrahedron accurately demonstrates the combustion process a tetrahedron is a solid fuel with four triangular faces in their order we see that fuel heat and oxygen is commonly called a fire triangle but here tetrahedron the another one is a chain reaction here the four elements are fuel heat oxygen and chain reaction fuel to vaporize and burn oxygen to combine with the fuel for vaporization it's an additive process it's a addition for burning the fire uh, if the oxygen must be in a, a tonium above tonium state it catches the fire in atmosphere we have tonium plus less oxygen heat to really raise the vapor to ignite ignition point chain reaction the chain reaction among the fuel oxygen and the heat removal of these four and you have no fire if you remove any one of the four then there must be no fire fire rating if any one if any one side of the fire triangle is removed the fire will be extinguished there is a four methods the four methods of fire fighting are smoothing smoothing is a removing of air if the if we remove the air that's oxygen if we remove the oxygen the fire must be cut off that's the process called smoothing starving starving is removal of burning materials from the surrounding like wood paper something everything anything is burnable things must be removed then the fire must be cut off that is cannot spread the fire cooling cooling is remove the heat that is lowering the heat inhibiting checking and stopping the exothermic chemical reactions of substances containing oxygen within themselves except in these substances that contains their own oxygen the removal of sufficient oxygen will extinguish a fire some fires can be smoothed with a sand or from a fire bucket or and or rag or blanket can be used to smooth the frame for the personal clothing if the fire must be catches in a small amount it's a, a small sheet of fire it can be cut off with the sand or fire blankets it is impractical to ensure that door is properly closed when leaving a fire to burn in a compartment or a room when there is a fire we suddenly shut off the ventilation close the door because the oxygen will come inside and it increases the fire fires in the cargo hold can be stopped by of oxygen by closing hatches and blank off the ventilation 
are just it's a type of door in all spaces affected by fire then you have to go to ventilating the fan should, should be shut off the doors and other opening must be closed in gary fat fires a bed towel or purpose made blankets can be applied for disconnecting the power source if the fire catches in the cooking area we suddenly the wet the towel and put out the fire or we have some special type of blankets also there uh, we spread on the fire area the fire will be cut off in fire extinguishing operation oxygen is excluded by smoothing the fire with a layer of foam oxygen is also cut off during the operations of portable and semi portable carbon dioxide extinguishers to some extent during the operation of dry powder extinguishers there are some several types of extinguishers that we see later uh, this everything is shut off the oxygen supply uh, this extinguisher must be available in portable and semi portable if it is a uh, portable it can be easily uh, carry out and shut off the fire it's semi portable it's a rolling type however in this sections of carbon dioxide and the dry powder the removal of oxygen is temporary unless the fuel is cooled reignitions may occur in total flooding fire fighting extinguishers should be in ship hold pump rooms and missionary space here. carbon dioxide gas displaces the air to such extent and there is a insufficient air from the combustion if the total fire must be catch in the uh, for example if the engine room must be full of fire we suddenly ventil- uh, shut off the ventilation close the door and we suddenly for the fixed fire fighting systems uses of inert gas it's a removal of oxygen process although it's a fire prevention measures and not a fire extinguishing techniques inerting plays an important role in oil and chemical tanker operation yeah sure uh, it's a uh, uses in the oil tanker and the chemical tanker uh, the inerting process first the, what is inert gas inert gas it does not uh, mix with the oxygen uh, so that we take the inert gas and fill it in the tank Uh, it's a lower density than the higher density than the oxygen so it removes the oxygen in the tank and it cannot ignite the fire okay now where this inert gas must be produced inert gas must be produced from the boiler uh, the waste the gas from the boiler is purified and it as a inert gas it involves a maintaining an atmosphere of such a low oxygen and then that the fire or explosion cannot be opposed in oil tanker operation they sustainably treated funnel gas or gases from the inert gas generator are pumped into the cargo and slope tank in chemical tanker depending on the types of cargo and inerting atmosphere is maintained by gases from an inert gas generator or from an inert gas example nitrogen supply to achieve the level of effectiveness the water has to be applied as a fine spray here i already told that the boiler uh, waste gas from the boiler you purify it and make it as a inert gas the waste gas from the boiler funnel is taken that uh, waste uh, smoke from the boiler and it's into the ig tower uh, here ig tower there is a three segment bottom it have some water in center space area there is some water spraying system like sprinkler system and third stage is demister first that uh, the waste smoke is enter into the bottom of water and come rises in the bubble and it burst and the it, uh, fine particles must be splitted then the gas travels upwards uh, across in the that is spray area uh, this spray system is used to reduce the heat then the uh, uh, here we removed the dirty and heat and some fine particles also there that must be removed from the demister the, by crossing these three stages we get the inert gas considering a degree of smoothing can also be achieved from the steam generator heat can also be absorbed from the decomposition of dry powder the sources of power should be cut out in an electrical insulations and a gasifiers the removal of fuel is not always possible however in the case of liquid fuels 
fires caused by leaking pipes or fittings the fuel supply should be closed up here we are going late before we see that uh, removal of oxygen now we are going to see about the removal of fuel but uh, here removal of fuel is a little complicated because there must be a breakage of pipe uh, small leakages uh, loose pipe conducts uh, finding this leakage is very, very difficult we want to trace the pipelines okay it may also be possible to drain fuels from the bungering tanks it is particularly important to shut off the supply in a gas free fire however gas should also be left burning in a controlled manner to exhaust itself removal of fuel for instance yes, halogen hydrocarbons and dry powders attack the surface of the species and prevent their reaction by killing the flame sometimes in less than 100th of a second on some occasions it may be due to dump burning the potential dangerous material or board breakage of chain reaction here now we are going to see that breakage of chain reaction for instantaneous halogens hydrocarbons and dry powder attack the surface of the species are prevented the reaction by killing the flame sometimes in less than 100th of the second the extinction take place without any applicable removal of heat fuel or oxygen however the remaining three sides of the tetrahedron will still be present and unless the heat is removed there is a danger of uh, like a reignition of the concentrations of extinguishing agent is not maintained the main source of fire on board on ship here we are going to see the main source of fire that's a fire starting like a uh, uh, smoking faulty electrical insulations and faulty circuits attitude of person on board improper storage of material people from ashore ignorance galley building or hotels this all everything is a catches fire on total main source not in engine room it's a, it's also included but uh, we are going to see that overboard main sources smoking some people uh, some see for us smoking and cut off the fire uh, the shut off the ashes in the oil surface area it must be surely catches fire faulty electrical insulation and fault circuits uh, in some circuits uh, pipe uh, wires must be improperly insulated that must be surely short circuit and catches a fire attitude of person on board some people uh, does not obey their manner uh, does not obey their safety that also leads to some uh, fire on board improper storage of material sometimes that uh, burning material the uh, firing materials are stored together improper storage fall down and spread area and it must be surely catch a fire people from ashore uh, this is like uh, ignorance means of the people that don't know the uh, meaning of safety the safety measures everything they don't know everything uh, and uh, this leads to the lack of safety and it must be catch a fire as soon as possible galley fire galley fire is a source of ignition in a cooking area welding and hot water that you know sources of fire in the engine room now here we are going to see the fire ignition in the engine room uh, same like the uh, on board that are smoking faulty electrical circuits improper storage oil racks cavity fire oil mist cranky explosion boiler uptake fire leaking splash from the pumps poor house cooking okay um, in uh, later i uh, forgot to say that that uh, smoking in accommodation area uh, people smoke the uh, smoking on the bed and suddenly sleep and the smoke uh, that ash must be falling on the Uh, that smoke uh, touches the bed and catches fire. Faulty electrical circuits, like poor material of wiring, improper insulation, like that. Even improper storage. I already told that oily rags. Okay, here oily rags. Uh, for cleaning purpose, we use some dirty cloths. That dirty cloths must be such that uh, waste oil, uh, and it may form as an oily rags. Uh, so it must be quickly ignited by the fire scavenge fire scavenge fire in engine room and mainly there is a scavenge space area 
that is produced from the tapochojer area. Uh, in that area, some carbon must be deposited. If not proper, uh, there is no proper cleaning. That uh, collection of carbon and the fuel continuously collected and ignited fire and it becomes as a scavenge fire. Oil will start crankcase explosion. In engine, there is a scavenge space area and crank space area. It is divided and separated by a uh, stuffing box. If the stuffing box clearance or it is not properly maintained, uh, that uh, scavenge space area, that air is entered into the crank space area and leads to a big damage. It's like a big auto explosion. Boiler uptake fire. Boiler uptake fire. Uh, this occurs in the boiler. Leaky and splash from the pumps. Some pumps must be uh, have some leakage or it must be splashed and the oil must be spread and it must be leads to catch the ignition of fire. Poor housekeeping. Uh, below the engines are some machinery parts, there must be a uh, oil leakage or something, water. Everything must be cleaned properly in a proper interval. Classification of fire. Uh, here the class is like A, B, C, D, F. The class is A is solid fire, B is liquid and C is gaseous, D metals and F is fatty acid. The process of spontaneous combustion, the process of increasing in temperature of material without drawing a heat from its surrounding due to oxidation, that is oxidation that results in a spontaneous combustion or ignition. Some combustible materials which get oxidated in air generated heat more rapidly than they can be dissipated to surrounding and thus cause a spontaneous combustion that is ignition. Flammability. When petroleum is ignited, it is the gas is propagatedly given off by a liquid when burns and is the visible flame. The quantity of gas available to be given off by a petroleum liquid depends on its volatile, which is frequently expressed by process of compression comparison in terms of rigid vapor compression pressure. The more informative measures of a volatile is the true vapor pressure, but unfortunately, this is not easily measured. It is referred to in the gate only, is connected with ventilating, ventilation problems associated with very volatile gas corpus, such as some crude oil and natural gasoline, LFL and HFL, low flammability limit and high flammability limit. This is a range of that fire and this flammability diagram. The flammability ranges, the ranges of hydrocarbon gas concentration in air between the lower and upper flammability limit explosions. Mixture within the range are capable being ignited of that are LFL and HFL. First we are going to see about the lower flammability limit. The concentration of hydrocarbon gases is 1% by the volume of air below which there is an insufficient carbon gas to support and propagate combustion in a lower flammable limit. Petroleum gases can be ignited and when burns only when mixed with the air in certain propagations. If there is no too little or too much petroleum gas which cannot be burned, that is the limit, that, uh, that is the lower flammable limit and upper flammable limit. The limit propagations expressed as percentage by volume of petroleum gases in air are known as the lower and upper flammable limit. They vary almost the different possible components of the petroleum gases. For the gas mixture, when the petroleum liquids are encountered in normal tanker practice, the overall ranges of the minimum lower flame limit about 1% gas by volume in air to be mixed. Maximum upper flame limit of about 10% gas volume is air. Upper flame limit. The upper flame limit or higher flame limit the concentration of hydrocarbon gas in air 10 percentage by volume about which is insufficient to air support to propagate combustion. It is the highest concentration of hydrocarbon gas of air or explosion. We have the limit of the fire, that's what we catch fire. Uh, in between the lower flammable or upper flammable, it is the fire flammable area. It, uh, this is the flammability diagram. You see that uh, the axis is oxygen percentage of oxygen by volume. In Y axis, carbon dioxide, percentage of carbon dioxide, carbohydrate by volume. 
here the, there is see that there is a flammable range extinguishers method here extinguish method there is a fuel uh, classification of fire and extinguishing medium uh, we already see that uh, the extinguishing fuel method is, that is solid liquid gas metal fatty acid something else for particular that solid fire we can be extinguished with water water spray foam for liquid or gaseous fire also we use the same thing sir for liquid we use the dry powder also for metal fire we use dry powder uh, and uh, ammonium based all purpose okay advantage and disadvantage of fire extinguishing agent here the agent first agent is uh, water the advantages of water extinguisher is uh, uh, this, uh, this water is readily available uh, excellent cooling agent provides protection of fire party uh, best choice of class a fire then what are the disadvantages uh, not to be used in electrical fire because the water is a uh, uh, conduct electricity it can spread and damage the human error also can reduce stability can spread class b fire also damage destroys the machinery and the equipments okay then the foam is used sir uh, foam is a yarded blankets or over burning liquid sir uh, minimum chances of reflash can be used from the distance around and uh, corners from upper decks what are the disadvantages means uh, not to be used in a as a uh, used on electrical fires and damage equipments also then the dry chemical powder uh, the disadvantage the advantage is knocking from frames fast and effective it's a very fastly uh, shut off the fire uh, 15 inches range rated for class b and class e but that's why uh, uh, that classes disadvantages sir. minimal propagation against the reflash highly corrupting to uh, electrical equipments uh, agent can cake and uh, this uh, dry powder must be formed as a net cake form carbon dioxide extinguisher sir uh, it's a safe for class c fire sir uh, non corrosive uh, carbon dioxide is a non corrosive agent non it uh, does not damage the equipment sir because it can be easily cleaned minimum chance of reflash in the sealed spaces effective on small class a and class b where in a open space area we can use the in for class a and class b in an open space area we can use the carbon dioxide extinguishers then is the disorder is uh, displays oxygen and kills fire fighting uh, kills fire because uh, we cannot intake carbon dioxide we can, um, so we, uh, it must be kills the fire fighters no reflash protections in open spaces halon safe for uh, class c non corrosive non damage to the equipments minimum chance of reflash in sealed spaces effective on small class a and class b in the open space area same like as carbon dioxide no reflash protection in the open space in uh, in very hot fire can generates deadly prosangens gas more than 15000 dangerous substances are classified into 10 classes in imdg code as given below class 1 is explosive class 2 is gases combust liquid or dissolved under pressure class 3 flammable liquids class 4 there is a subdivision 4.1 flammable solid subdivision 2 substance liquid labeled to spontaneous ignition classification uh, subdivisions 3 substance which comes in a contact with eliminate flammable gases 5 in 5 subdivision 1 is oxidizing subject Subdivision 2 organic free oxides. 6 subdivision 1 is poisonous. Subdivision 2 infectious substances. 7 radioactive materials. 8 corrosive. 9 mysterious dangerous substances. And 10 is marine pollutions. Okay, thank you.